Hammond from the drummer of Scaly Clad. I'm Jim and I play bass in uh, Scaly Clad. Hi, I'm Stephanie. Um, I'm a female vocalist of Scaly Clad. My name is Matt and I play guitar for Scaly Clad. Are you ready? Progressive metal band, I guess you could say. I live in New Jersey. With this band, uh, me and Matt had two bands prior to this one. Um, it was fun. It was a high school band. I was just fucking around. I I used to skateboard. I never played bass. Never was into music. I knew Matt was, but you know, we, we we were best friends for a while. And then I saw his old band. It was him, Cameron, and a couple other people. They were called the Crooks. And they, I went there with my buddy, and I saw him play the Talent Expo at East. I just watched them play, and like a high school band on a high school stage at high school East, and I saw the play and I was just like amazed. I was like, I, I want to do that. And that night I called Matt up and I was like, dude, I don't even play an instrument, but I want to start a band. He was like, okay man, whatever. The band originally started back in, uh, in 2009, summer 2009, and um, I was actually asked to join by Jim and a friend of ours who was previously in the band. And uh, I was kind of like sketchy about it at first, but I, I, I joined after that, and it's been a great experience ever, ever, ever since. Well, I, mean, it, I showed up like the next week at his house, I like worked my ass off all week to buy this like $50 base from like cash converters or some, something like that. And showed up at his house, and we started jamming like poison covers, and played like a battle of bands, and we played like a Earth Day Festival or something, Green Day. We played all covers, no, one original called Play for Dirty Sex. I went to college. After, after those two bands for music, because I knew that's what I wanted to do. But I wasn't positive that uh, I just wanted to play drums in a band. And after getting my degree and spending 11 months in the business, kind of, I just realized that I, I wanted nothing else to do except play drums with my best friends. And, uh, drummer Cameron got back from Full Sail University in Florida. Um, yeah, we met up with him that summer. It was like around July. He came back, got our old singer, and we started just playing shows. The Boats and Hose Party was our first show. Um, it's pretty rough because Jim actually almost killed three quarters of the band before we actually played. Uh, he got into an accident with a 330s in the back, of which all w went all over the street. So we kind of played a fast fast set that night because we're all jittery, but it was a good show. So we called ourselves The Replacements when we actually like, made the band. And um, then we found out that The Replacements was actually a, an old like band from the 70s, so we couldn't use that. So we were, we were running through names like it was so hard to find. We just like we we're trying to find the like the name that stuck. We were originally playing uh, the show Boats and Hose Party, and a friend of mine asked me if there's going to be any scantily clad women, and uh, I didn't know what that meant at the time, but I thought it was an awesome name. So then he like texted me or something. He's like, dude, I have a perfect name for our band, scantily clad. Later, later did I find out that scantily clad means barely dressed women, and I actually liked it a lot more. <laughs> We actually got a new singer back in August, and she's she's an awesome addition. She's she's phenomenal. I had no idea what I wanted to do. Like I know I always wanted to perform in some way or another. I was in musical theater my whole life, and it came to a point where I was just like stuck and things weren't working for me. I was doing a gig with my dad. My dad owns a music store and does um, sound systems, so he was doing one and. It was right around the corner from my house, and he was like, you know, I was doing things. He's like, why don't you come with me? We'll have a good time. So I was watching this, like these bands that were like in high school. It was so cute, and I saw them on stage, and I was like, I want to do that. Like I've always wanted to performance one way or another. I, I was like, I need to do that. Like I need to be on stage. I need a band, you know. Like so, I was determined. I immediately like went home that night and went on the computer. And went on Craigslist, and I, I think I typed in like female vocalist or something. And the first people that responded to me was the guys. I had a performance with my dad because he is a band, so I used to sing with him like here and there. And um, they came to see me and didn't tell me they were coming to see me, but all you saw was like these like you know these like metalhead looking guys like 
walking through like this, like these old farts, and they're like, hi, you know, we're Scanlon Clan. We met then, and from then on, like things were just like, like we clicked. Three years later, um, new singer, new name, new music, same group of friends. We have a lot of fun together because we're all really good friends. I don't know, something about this band just clicked, like, we just, I don't know what it was, we just became so, so much better musicians over that two year span that we didn't play, and we just came back together and everything just clicked, and it was just like, this is it, we, we can't do anything else, this is, this is what we have to do. We have, a, we have a connection that, I don't think, I mean, I don't know anybody that has a connection that we have as people, I mean, as like a band of musicians. Like, I love that more than anything. <laughs> Well, trying to get the CD done, it's taking a little while to get it mixed and mastered. We recorded with that intro live with Jeff Wallace from End of an Era. There's, there's five tracks on right now, one from the previous studio and the four from this one. And, you know, you have your ballad, you have, you have a, a, kind of a more radio-friendly song, kind of about partying and stuff like that. You have, like, the intro, the instrumental. And there's one on there uh, titled Chainsaw, which is probably one of my favorite, four favorite songs in the CD. It's about eight minutes long, and pretty cool. It keeps you interested the whole eight minutes, I hope. I am very proud of this recording, actually. Steph fucking killed it. We love the vocals on this. The guy really did a really good job. Like, he really worked with Steph, and he worked with my guitar tone. The quality and the way he produced it and, and got the best performance out of us was just... We just want people to hear it like for what it is, and it's, it's just amazing. Yeah, it came out great. It's something we're really proud of. It's a really proud undertaking. We, we really dig all the songs, the album for once. We worked so hard for this, and it's just I'm so proud, and I'm so proud of us as people and as musicians because it's, I think it's really everything that we want it to be. Like everybody is, it just every single person sounds their best, and I think that's all you could really hope for, you know. to do their album cover back in October. What I asked them was give me two things that you think describe your band. And they thought about it, they came back to me, and they said evil and sexy. And like work that sexuality into our metal music, which is kind of what we're trying to do, you know. So it's, it's sort of, it works. So we're trying to put, you know, metal, hard, hard rock metal music with, you know, a female sex fronted, you know, front, front woman. They came to me with their ideas and and I just brought them on. We want to get our demo out. We still have to get it duplicated, and then start on the next the next work. We're currently working on a new album. Uh, it's a little bit of a concept album. I can't tell you too much because it's kind of under, under wraps. But I'm really excited about it. We've got a lot, a lot of awesome songs planned out and. We're kind of going in about going about it like we, we really haven't heard any other bands that are taking this kind of step kind of steps that we're taking. It's hard to promote yourself when you don't have that much money, <laughs> so we, we play as many shows as possible. We're trying to get signed. It's a lot a lot harder than I thought, but uh, we just we're we write we're constantly writing new material. Constantly, the one thing we always do as a band is we always write stuff above and beyond our level of playability. So kind of we always have to like work up to it. I feel like that makes us better as like as a band. We progress more that way. Just trying to get ourselves out there. I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard at first. Got a lot of backing, but we're just doing our best. I started making logos for them. I hope that the things that I do and all this this work that I put in for them really really pays off in the end, and you know people will recognize them. I want people to think of Scandal like Clad, like want them to think of us. You know, even though we're going a little heavier, a little harder. You want to going forward, moving forward, make this happen. If you want to reach us, you can go to Facebook, you can find us. Check us out, whether you like us or not. I mean, uh, I, th I think we, I think we, we try, we try, we try to have like a bunch of music that, you know, people can get into. We may not appeal to everybody, but, you know, you can't really ignore us.
I think anybody can appreciate it, and I think that's the best part about it. We're trying, we're trying just to get out there, so, you know, check us out. Until next time!